Hi Pets Collectors, I'm Erin and today I have a really fun video. Really recently I added the new Care Bear Pez to my collection and they just came out. They're a brand new release for 2022 and I'm like, oh yeah, new Care Bears, that's fun, but I already have Care Bear Pez. <laughs> Let's see what I'm talking about. I already had these Care Bear Pez in my collection from 2019 and they're the Funko Pop Pez back when Pez and Funko collaborated, which that was a really fun time to be a Pez collector and I think a Funko collector. Let's take a closer look at these Care Bear Funko Pop Pez. One of the main differences I noticed was that Pez only made four of these Care Bear Pez, but as I was looking at the Funko Pop Pez, and then I'm looking at the Care Bear Pez, it looks like all the molds are the same, like even on the Funko Pop Pez. So it seems like maybe it would be easy for Pez to keep making these and maybe they'll keep making the bears because I really wish that they would make this good luck bear. Basically because it's a green bear, my name's Aaron, my dog's name is Clover. I'm all about Irish stuff, so I think that would be a really fun one that Pez needs to make on their own. That'd be a really great addition to have a little green one. And as far as these Care Bears go, I remember I had a good look bear stuffed animal when I was younger. And I remember all of these bears, but I don't know of many more. I think that there's an orange one. I'm not even sure what its name was, <laughs> but I'm sure there's a few more Care Bears that they could add to the collection, which I would approve of that. And I would like to add some more to my collection. I'm all about the bear pez. We need more bear pez. <laughs> this good luck bear, it's got a green head and a green stem. You'll see that the Funko Pop Pez version of the Care Bears, they're just the heads. And Pez used the full body, which I like a lot as well. I think they both are really great. I think one of the reasons I really like the Pez version is though, because you see the tummy. And the tummy has a little graphic of the bear which I really like. And these Funko Pop ones don't have that. So let's look at another one. Here's Cheer Bear. Cheer Bear is just a little pink bear. It's got the little pink head and the pink stem. Now Cheer Bear is a special one because it has a chase version. And here's a picture here on the screen. And the only difference is that it has a pink glowing head. And so it looks exactly the same. It's even pink and pink. Sometimes the chase versions are different colors all together and sometimes they just glow or whatever or they're metallic or so this one's really nice i do plan on adding the chase version to my collection because i really like these care bear ones let's look at another one here's share bear share bear has a purple head on a purple stem the big difference is the facial expressions just like on the regular pez care bears they all have the different facial expressions and you get the really nice graphics on the box of these funko pop pez I didn't show you the top of it there. On the top there it says Pop Pez and there's the Care Bears logo with a little rainbow. I like it. <laughs> Another one here is Grumpy Bear. Grumpy Bear is the blue bear with the blue head and blue stem. Looks real grumpy. <laughs> and then the last one is Funshine Bear. Funshine Bear has a yellow head and a yellow stem. Also I noticed on top of these Pop Pez packages the little bears are up there. That's really cute. Really quick, I just wanted to share some Pop Pez history with you since I haven't shown many Pop Pez on the channel so far. Have I even done any full length videos with Pop Pez? Maybe. I have some TikToks with Pop Pez, so if you're not following me on TikTok or Instagram, I'm Erin Clicks Pez on both of those. You can see a lot more of my Pez collection over there. People are always asking to see different Pez, so I'm always making videos over on TikTok and Instagram showing off different ones that you see here on YouTube. Back in 2018, that's when Funko and Pez collaborated and then they made these Pop Pez and it started with like Batman and Robin, there was a Bob Ross, <laughs> there's Quaker Oats ones, there's Captain Crunch ones. Okay, so there is a video I remember for sure where I opened the Captain Crunch and some other random Funko Pop Pez. Maybe I'll link that one above or put it down in the description if you haven't watched it. But I do plan on making a lot more Funko Pop Pez videos because I need to add a lot more to my collection because when they first came out, they were kind of hard to get. Like you would only get them on Pez.com or maybe like GameStop or like Entertainment Earth had them or Walmart. So they were kind of harder to find. And a lot of times there were limited edition ones, which made it even harder because they would sell out like, like really fast. 
That's kind of where Pez and Pop Pez started back in 2018. And the last ones I remember being released was back in 2021. So last year, Emerald City Comic Con was supposed to happen. And I think, I'm pretty sure it got canceled because of the pandemic. And they made, here's a picture of it. There's a Masters of the Universe set and it comes with these two Funko Pops. One of them is Cobra Khan and the other one is Spikor. And I don't have this in my collection either. I need to look for it. And that one usually sells for a little bit more on eBay. So I kind of was hesitant to buy it. It seems like these Pop Pez go for a lot more on eBay or from other collector sites. Maybe because there's that whole Funko aspect to it. There's a lot more collectors out there looking for them and wanting to add them to their collection because it's not just Pez collectors. And plus, when you were to buy these originally in the stores or on a website, they usually were like eight or $10, I wanna say, around there. Sometimes you could get them cheaper, sometimes a little more depending on you know, what it was, or if it was a double set, or if it came with a t-shirt or something. That's just a quick overview of the Pop Pez and Pez collaboration. And if you're wondering why did Funko and Pez collaborate, I kind of think it comes from the fact that one of the Funko presidents, Brian Mariotti, he has been a huge Pez collector like his whole life, which I think is really cool. I'll put a link in the description here, but there's a video on YouTube where you can see Brian talking about his Pez collection and they have like these really nice cases full of a lot of vintage Pez, which I think is really neat because there's a lot of like colored variations of a lot of them. He seems like he really loves Pez, so I could see how this would be like a really great collaboration for Funko and Pez. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Bye. All right.